Welcome to the Natus Neuro Training Academy. I'm Carmen Ellison, a registered EEG technologist. Today I would like to show you a typical setup procedure for application of EEG cup electrodes. At this initial stage, it's important to select the proper materials and equipment in order to get a suitable setup for recording high quality EEG signals. First, I will discuss EEG cup electrodes. The choice of electrodes is up to the facility. I recommend two options. If you prefer a reusable cup electrode, the Genuine Grass Gold Cup line is an excellent choice. For many years, this product has been the industry gold standard. High quality materials, including 24 karat gold plated and handcrafted electrodes. If you prefer a disposable cup electrode, I recommend the Grass Disposable Deep Cup Electrode. These provide peace of mind regarding infection control policy compliance, and they produce quality recordings with both routine EEG and long-term monitoring. Here we have a typical layout of supplies ready to use for the patient. Starting with our latex-free gloves to be in compliance with infection control policy, a china marking pencil, a tape measure, cotton tip applicators, New prep or lemon prep to abrade the skin. 1020, which is the conductive paste that will go inside the cup of the electrode. Pre-cut gauze squares and or paper tape. Additional supplies include hair clips, gauze head wraps, and ear clip electrodes. The selection of materials and preparation of the patient plays a crucial role in achieving good EEG signals. I'm going to provide a step-by-step -step application demo. I recognize that materials and processes may vary by country, region, placement method, and personal preference. This demo is intended as an example. For this demonstration, the steps involve measuring the patient's head, marking the placement location, abrading the scalp, placing conductive paste into the electrodes, and applying the electrodes. You can set up your patient with them sitting in a chair or laying down on a bed with the assistance of a neck roll, which you can make by rolling up towels together. I will begin by measuring and marking the patient's head according to the 1020 International Electrode Placement System. There are four anatomical landmarks that are used for the essential positioning of the electrodes. First, the nason, which is the point between the forehead and the nose. Second, the inion, which is the lowest point of the skull from the back of the head and is normally indicated by a prominent bump. The third and fourth landmarks are the preauricular points anterior to the ear. I'll now demonstrate these measurements. Nason to inion. Preauricular to preauricular. These would be followed by my measurements of the circumference of the head, the frontal plane, the parietal plane, and the parasagittal planes. Now that I've completed all measurements in accordance to the 1020 International Placement System, I can proceed with EEG electrode application. Since electrodes must adhere to the scalp, you'll need to part the patient's hair so that the position marks of the electrodes can be seen easily. Next, you'll apply a small amount of new prep to a cotton swab and rub gently three to four times at the marked location. You'll repeat this step for each mark that you've made. Okay. Next, we'll fill the electrode cup with 1020. Do not overfill the electrode cup. Applying too much paste will spread the conductive pace and could result in asymmetrical EEG signals. We're going to place the EEG electrode on the marked spot and apply a small amount of pressure. Do not worry if some of the pace comes out from the top of the EEG cup. Next, we're going to apply a pre-cut gauze square or a piece of paper tape over the cup of the electrode. You'll want to press down gently to secure it.
This is a gauze application, and this is a paper tape application. When you place an electrode, make sure that its tail is oriented toward the back of the head so that all wires can be easily gathered together in order to make the setup as light and comfortable as possible for the patient. This holds true for applying A1, A2, and M1, M2 on the mastoid behind the ear. In these locations, especially A1 and A2, if you place an electrode with the tail of the wire pointing down, it can pull off easily. I recommend applying the electrode with the tail pointing up or toward the back of the head. You may use EEG cup electrodes or the Genuine Grass reusable ear clip electrodes. Now let's take a look at applying the EEG electrodes on the frontal region of the head, FP1 and FP2. Skin preparation and application is the same as previously described. The only difference is that tape would be a superior application method versus gauze, particularly due to the bare skin. This also applies to other areas where there is no hair, such as A1 and A2 and M1 and M2. Electrodes can be connected to the amplifier as each is ready, or you may prefer to complete the placements and connect all of them together as a separate, separate step. The choice is yours. Following testing, carefully remove the electrodes and either dispose of them or place them in a basin for cleaning, depending on the type of electrodes you have chosen. On behalf of the Natus Clinical Applications team, I hope that this video is helpful. Thank you for watching.